Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 12th to the 18th of April 2021. So let's pull your oracle card and see what we get for you. So what is the message for Sagittarius that just flew out? So we have number eight, Embrace Spirit. Embrace Spirit. The eagle is an energy of, of divine energy. You're being watched over, guided. It can also be a card of perspective, seeing the bigger picture. So that might resonate for some of you as well. Okay, what do we have for Sagittarius, please, angels? What is the message for Sagittarius? Yeah, tr oh my goodness, trust. You're being watched over. Again, this is a really clear message so far. Um, very nice energy. So I'm going to pull three cards, Sagittarius, and then we'll clarify, go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay. What do we have for Sagittarius, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Sagittarians, 12th to the 18th of April 2021. What do we have for Sagittarius, please? And remember, it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you, Sagittarius. We've got the Knight of Cups. In the challenge position, Four of Swords, Advice from Spirit, and we have Outcome, or the Near Future Outcome, we have the Seven of Wands. Okay, let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Sagittarius, please, Angels, Spirits, Guides. What do we have for Sagittarius? Thank you. So we have the Ace of Swords. Two of Wands here, Sagittarius. And the Seven of, of I've got the Seven of Wands twice in the near future outcome. Bottom of the deck, I have the card of Leo generally, but it can be you, King of Wands. Yeah, let me clarify these two cards. Let's clarify the Knight of Cups. Let's clarify this Knight of Cups, please. For Sagittarius, we have the Eight of Swords. And let's clarify this King of Wands for you. We have the Four of Pentacles. And what are these two challenge cards, the Seven of Wands, please? What are these two challenge cards, the Seven of Wands? For Sagittarius, thank you. So the Moon. feels in this situation somebody is expressing a love or making a loving gesture here but there's definitely an energy of you are blocking it you know the the eight of swords is a card of negative thinking but in the challenge position, it can be about releasing or having the opportunity to release negative thoughts. Yeah. I'm, I'm definitely getting this energy of 
if this has been to do with relationships here, Sagittarius, where for whatever reason you are perceiving something or somebody has done something to let you down, uh, I, I absolutely feel in this energy that they are hoping to overcome the challenge of what they have presented. And there's definitely an energy of wanting to express love, um, to offer love, to express their feelings, you know. Uh, I mean, the Knight of Cups is essentially, the Knights represent offers, opportunities, and in this case, it's to do with love, matters of the heart, um, that can generally bring change. But certainly in the Eight of Swords energy, it, it feels like you perceive this opportunity is a negative one you know this is limiting beliefs but there is that it's almost like there's an opportunity coming an offer of love an expression of love somebody expressing their love for you um whatever's gone on here and it's almost kind of like you need to make some kind of decision as a result of this you know, because certainly in this, the with the Ace of Swords, it feels that, which can be a card of victory or success, but interestingly enough, in, in the challenge position, which can sometimes be the reverse of the card, it, it can be about not being quite clear, re-evaluating your situation, you know, to see the way forward. I mean, it's a new beginning energy, but it's a card of, mental clarity breakthroughs and it's generally the breakthrough because of some kind of it can be communication or mental clarity that you're getting the epiphany i understand which way i'm going but it, it feels in this energy yeah i'm just getting this this information here sagittarius that somebody is wanting to offer you love romance relationships something must have gone on there's definitely an energy of something has gone on here because the ace of swords comes after a difficult journey and there is negative energy or negative thought patterns, maybe some blocking energy. You might not have been speaking to this person, but it feels like somebody is wanting to bring change to that situation. And this is where you have the opportunity to release that negativity, if you so choose. Because you have been through a period of recovery. Now, this can be about deep thought reflection, but it's also recovery energy. Uh, so you might be thinking deeply about what they're offering. And there are two paths ahead. And there's definitely an energy here of, of certainly some choice or decision needs to be made here. This is about deep, careful thought consideration. The Four of Swords, getting your head around a situation and really understanding which way you want to go. And your intuition will play a deep part in which way you want to go because our intuition is how God, the universe, the divine guides us forward. Um, so there's definitely an energy of, yeah, you could have been through, like I said, that recovery reflection towards making some kind of, you know, choosing between two paths here. Do I, do I accept their apology? Do I accept their offer of love? Do I... Um, release the negativity between us and make things right or do I go my own way it feels those are the two paths but it's an empowered energy of by giving something some deep thought you will understand which way you want to go and that's what spirit is telling you the moon energy with the seven of seven of wands twice so the seven of wands is standing up for what you know to be right standing up for what you know to be true And the moon is, is a card of lack of clarity. Um, it's also a card of blind faith, blind trust, because you don't see the path forward, but you just surrender and trust in God, the universe, the divine, that everything will be okay. So it's, it can be a card of hidden blessings too. There's definitely an energy here of, of you, were, you were challenged in a situation. Um, It also, it also feels, whether you were defending something, whether you were 
defending what you need to be right, standing your ground in a situation. It, it feels for some of you, you are standing your ground. I'm going to pull another card for that one. Standing your ground with this person. Yeah, I've got the Three of Swords, which can be about heartbreak, uh, emotional pain, a truth coming to light that cuts deep, you know, it can be that kind of energy. So, and it can be a, a relationship energy, the Three of Swords, uh, something that's tested a relationship. It, it feels in a situation, somebody is coming in here, Sagittarius, and expressing love. Um... It feels like they want to offer an apology or make something right. That's for sure. Because they've caused some deep hurt, deep wounds. And it has taken all your power and strength to overcome the challenge that this represented. Um, and there's definitely an energy of a lack of clarity here. I don't have the clarity on... Yeah, the moon energy is, it, it feels, it can be anxiety, but it, it feels in this situation, it, it feels to do with I just don't have the clarity to make a decision right now. And the message from spirit is give yourself some time to think about it. You know, again, the message of time with the four of, four of pentacles, it's Capricorn energy ruled by Saturn. And so there's definitely an energy of, how you take action, how you take the lead, um, be cautious, this is about cautious, it's also self-protection energy. It feels in this energy, Sagittarius, somebody's coming in offering you love, romance, uh, relationships, but they've hurt you before. And there's a feeling that you're giving something some deep thought but and there's definitely an energy that you're going to get the clarity but you might not have it yet interesting and you're moving it feels like you don't have the clarity to take the lead to to move forward you know the the king of wands is somebody who takes the lead is in his power takes you know takes charge goes for something uh, follows his passions and desires here he is the person with the big vision you know he is a, he's great visionary energy but with the moon energy it's like I don't know if I see it happening in the future here and this is about making choices about your future so it's almost kind of like you don't know if they're part of your future right now you know, are they part of my world or not right now? Because it feels somebody wants to make something right. And yet in this situation, they've hurt you. There's a protective energy around you right now. You might be putting up barriers and you just don't have clarity in how you want to move forward. But the message is, and it's interesting that we said this at the beginning, didn't we? We said, you'll see the bigger picture, you know, embrace spirit. And it might well be this can be about listening to your intuition as well. The moon is a card of intuition. Um, surrender, listen to your intuition and that will give you the answer that you need to make some kind of choice or decision. It's, ha it's also how you get clarity. I mean, the Four of Swords can be an intuitive energy too. Uh, deep subconscious energy. So I'm going to pull one more card. Any other message or advice for Sagittarius, please? Any other message or advice for Sagittarius? I, I feel the message is trust your instinct because your instinct is coming through spirit and spirit is how it communicates to us through our instinct but it definitely feels like this person presented quite a challenge to get on top of and you might have been defending or standing firm or having to stand firm on something you know uh, it, it feels in this energy that there are barriers here and you're wondering whether you can overcome those recover and get past them and that's the decision if 
Final message for Sagittarius, please. Final message for Sagittarius. Okay, so I've got the star, which is a card of hope. It's also a cloud of... Cloud, what am I talking about? It's also a card of... Um, it's a vision as well. So the vision, the clarity, everything will become clear. This is a sense of renewal, hope, have faith. You are being guided. So it feels for some of you, you will find the right path for you forward. Uh, the star is a card of divine wish fulfillment, blessings from the universe. It, it feels in this instance, Sagittarius, something's happened here. Um, whatever choice or decision that you make, you are being blessed. You are being watched over by God, the divine, the universe. It definitely feels like somebody presented a challenge to you to overcome and recover from. But there's definitely some clarity that you're getting from your intuition, from seeing things clearly, um, by reevaluating your circumstances. It definitely feels that there is some clarity coming when... Yeah when you weren't sure what to do quite yet. There was a lot of barriers that you put up, you're putting up with this. Um, let's pull one more card. It feels like there are barriers to overcome here because they've hurt you. Yeah, so, okay, so, yeah. I've got the Ten of Wands and I've got the Six of Swords. Ten of Wands is a card of burden, but it's, a, it's an energy of, of a ten, which is a completion as well. So it, it feels like burdens have, whatever this person did, they created some kind of burden. Um, some weight that you're carrying. And this is Sagittarian energy. They tested you. Uh, Saturn in Sagittarius, you they tested you. You know, this Three of Swords was a real test for you. A test of faith, a test of courage, a test to overcome something. Um, but there's definitely an energy of wanting to break free of the baggage that you're carrying, the baggage that they may have created for you. And, you know, the Six of Swords is a card of healing. It's a card of transition, a card of putting troubles behind you and moving forward to calmer waters, but detaching from those troubles. So it definitely feels in this energy, Sagittarius, some of you, whatever decision that you make, you have uh, two paths in front of you you now have the opportunity to release the burdens, to release the burdens of the past, the past journey as well, and open up to the new world energy of two Aquarian cards, the star energy and, you know, the six of swords, Mercury and Aquarius. So there's definitely an energy of, I'm moving towards a new vision. I'm moving towards, uh, I'm making up my mind which way I want to go and I'm taking steps towards it and I'm detaching from troubles and putting it behind me. Now, that could be together. It might well be, yeah, water under the bridge, let, let's move on. It might be, let's heal from this and move forward. It might well be you're cutting cords, you're detaching. So it feels like there's some decision to make. There are definitely two paths, choices about your future and how your future is going to unfold. Okay, so what do we have for Sagittarius, please, as a final message? Oh, right, okay. So I've got the snake. You know, the snake is a great image of shedding old skin. And again, it ties in very beautifully with that Six of Swords and New World energy here, the, the Aquarian energy. So it definitely feels in this energy you are ready to bring transformation to your life you are ready for change you are ready to find the direction you know the direction will become clear and moving towards better times ahead you know so this is an interestingly enough shedding an old skin getting rid of the past burdens so however you do that there is some choice to make Kundalini rising, channel your creative passion and sensuality, welcome the transformation. I love that snake energy. Yeah, it feels like everything is going to become clear in a, in a situation where emotions cloud your judgment. You may be giving some deep thought to somebody offering this love 
it feels to do with love romance relationships but I'm definitely getting this energy they've already hurt you they've already caused a lot of burdens and baggage that you've carried maybe over some period of time and it has been a challenge to get on top of and there's definitely now if they're coming in and offering this expression of love you're not clear in terms of whether it's for you or not and there's some decision to make the message is there is hope whichever way that you choose you'll be watched over by god the universe the divine if you trust your intuition you won't choose wrong so very lovely energy you'll be watched over by a higher power that's for sure so i hope you enjoyed the reading sagittarius if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful uh, week for you and i will see you next time thank you